third-party cookies. In this video, we're going to talk about how to detect if a visitor to your site allows third-party cookies or not. And the reason we want to do that is for some shopping carts, it might be a requirement that cookies have to be enabled, otherwise the order flow won't work. So instead of running into that problem, throwing our hands up, what we're going to do is test that person, their browser, to see if they're accepting third-party cookies or not. A little bit of background. The purpose of third-party cookies are basically to track you. So this is how retargeting advertising works. If somebody from a different site has placed a cookie on your browser, as you move around the internet, it basically follows you. And um, the point is that the cookie was put on a different domain other than the one you're visiting. More and more browsers are considering or implementing measures to actually block third-party cookies. I know Apple is pretty adamant about blocking these, and I think the Safari browser might do that by default. In Chrome, you do have the option of blocking third-party cookies. So let's show you what that looks like. You're going to want to go in your Chrome browser to that link I show right there. So let's go ahead and get that link and go to the browser. And this is what you'll see. And actually, I went in here and I searched for cookie to find it just to make sure. But right here where it says blocked third-party cookies, I just toggled it so it is now blocking versus not blocking. So some people, this is the default. Some people will have this blocked and that can kind of wreak havoc on, for instance, passing information from your shopping cart to the next step in an order flow. So we want to test that ahead of time to see if that's enabled or disabled. And to do so, we have a script here that will build a few scripts for you to help test. Now the key is you have to have two different domains of your own that you can access. So let's go ahead and dive right in. On this site, we want to provide some information that then will help generate some scripts that we put on our site. The first two, for instance, might be a shopping cart. This will be your shopping cart link you want to send people to if you if cookies are not blocked. This might be another shopping cart link for people that have cookies blocked. And then you're going to need two websites. It doesn't really matter which one, what order. So I'm going to start here and put in a couple websites. And then these would be, for instance, like I said, two shopping carts. But to simulate that, I'm going to put in a couple pages that I've created for this testing purposes. Now, before I submit, click Submit, let me just show you. All they do is they display some, just a single word or words, I should say. So this one is the not blocked. This one is the blocked version. So depending on how your browser is set up, if it's blocking or not blocking third-party cookies, you'll get sent to one or the other. So I'm gonna click on Submit here. So first thing to do is on, for instance, this domain, you wanna create a file called ip-redirect.php and you wanna copy all this information in here and paste it into the file. So from here down to here, gets put into this ipredirect.php on this site. And just briefly, what's going on here is, here it's checking to see if there's any information in the query string that needs to be forwarded. Down here, it's doing a little JavaScript magic, and it's testing, is the cookie set or not? And depending on whether it's set or not, if it is, if the cookies are enabled, then it's going to get redirected to this page. It's not blocked. Otherwise, if cookies are disabled, it gets sent to this page. So that's one file, IP redirect on this site. Second file is this. You want to copy the contents here and put it into a file called cookie.php on a different, the other domain. And then finally, when you're ready to use it, you want to send your visitors to this link right here. Let's test this out. I'm going to go ahead and copy this link. I've already copied over this code to these files, so I'm going to just show you how it works. I'm going to go ahead and slide that over there. 
And so right now we have third-party cookies enabled. So I should go to the not blocking page when I visit this site. And I'm gonna get redirected. Notice it says I went to the not blocked. Now I'm gonna go ahead and block cookies. And this time I get redirected to the block site. So think of that as one shopping cart for cookies when we're blocking uh, cookies, third-party cookies, and one for not. Now, one thing I added in there was the ability to pass in a query string. So for instance, I might say question mark name equals Dave. Notice that got passed along right here. So that's how we can test if third-party cookies are being blocked by your visitors.